And tonight, our investigators digging deeper, speaking with researchers who are trying to better understand why some people with COVID have dizziness, ringing in the ears, and other hearing issues. Over the past year, their experiment showed how the virus can infect some cells in the inner ear. ABC 50 investigator Melissa Blasius has reported for months on the unheard concerns of people who developed hearing issues after getting the vaccine. Tonight, she shows us how their research may eventually lead to relief for thousands of people. Awatuki mom Erin Helm now relies on a sound machine app to mask the noise in her head. She says the ringing in her ears, a medical condition known as tinnitus, ratcheted up two times in the last year. The first after getting a COVID-19 vaccination. I got really sick for about 48 hours with all the things they tell you you're going to get, fever, body aches, etc. But I also had this screaming loud, nonstop ringing in my ears for almost that whole time. So bad I couldn't hardly sleep. Then in January, she got sick with COVID. I couldn't even hear um, like the television over my sound machine, which I had to have up on full volume in order to not hear the ringing in my ears. Frustrating? Beyond frustrating, yes. We started noticing lots of people with hearing loss and tinnitus and dizziness during the peak of the COVID pandemic. Konstantina Stankovic with the Stanford University School of Medicine and a team of researchers wondered if they could identify or prove whether the ear issues were associated with the virus or if the symptoms were coincidental. We asked whether human inner ear tissue is capable of being infected by the virus. They used human and mouse ear tissue and they generated some of the first human cellular models of infectious inner ear disease. Their research was published in the journal Communications Medicine. It both has the machinery to allow the virus to enter specific cells of the inner ear, not every cell, and uh, when exposed to the virus, the virus readily infects certain cell types. Their findings suggest that inner ear infection may underlie COVID-19 associated problems with hearing and balance. And in some cases, steroids help relieve the symptoms. So our next steps are to uh, really understand even at a deeper level what is going on, not only with COVID, but also with COVID vaccines. And why do some people develop these symptoms? And most importantly, what can we do to prevent them and to treat them? I'm just glad to hear they're researching it. Because Erin would like to have real treatment options so she can stop the noise and someday be able to enjoy the quiet again. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Even with rare reports of possible side effects like tinnitus, uh, doctors still strongly recommend COVID-19 shots, including boosters. They say the consequences of getting COVID, including death, far outweigh any vaccine risk. To see more of Melissa's reporting on this issue, go to abc15.com slash investigators.